Welcome back to another studio vlog. At the beginning of this vlog, I focused a bit on the multiple moves that we had just because moving was such a big focus in our life, but it's really beautiful footage. I think you will actually enjoy where we ended up. And I do do some painting in this video. You're gonna get tons of autumnal vibes, both in the painting and in what I share of our life in Switzerland. And then by the end of the video, I do something rather spontaneous related to the sale of my artwork. So I hope you enjoy it. If you do, I would love to hear from you in the comments. And that being said, let's get to it. It is the very last day here in this apartment. We've completely cleared it out in a few days. The cleaners come and yeah, I guess that'll be the last time now that we're ever in this apartment. It's a little sad. We didn't really want to move at this point. Um, the place got sold, so we had to move um, earlier than we wanted to. We were gonna move within a few months, but um, yeah, it's sad. It's been a really good place for us. So, bye apartment. The thing I'm going to miss the most is this balcony and this tree that was always filled with chirping birds. what is a little it's little fantastic. DIY it's, yep this is how we're gonna do it this is life yeah we're gonna schlep these up the hills that's gonna be rough I know I was tired after that hill <laughs> I didn't want to say anything <laughs> I don't want to be a bitter Betty but yeah, it's, it's gonna be a problem isn't it yeah, it's gonna be tough <laughs> I'm not looking forward to that but we were we were actually gonna take these on a ship and at least have a really nice journey but with this weather yeah you look so happy <laughs> Cardio in for today. <laughs> we're, we're doing it. We are. Worth it. It doesn't look very steep from here, but it feels steep. Yeah, it's steep. That first part's steep. Huh? <laughs> Almost there. It's been really interesting moving to a smaller town. It's one of those kind of bucket list experiences. We thought. You know why not? Um, we well, I grew up in a town of about 600,000 inhabitants, and B and I met um, in a town of millions. And so we thought, you know what, we haven't done yet lived somewhere that's basically the countryside. So we decided to go for it. And what it also meant is that, in addition to just you know, the pregnancy that has been a little rougher on me than I thought. Um, a lot of what you're seeing here is my commute. So it went from being about 10 minutes away from work to, you know, one way it being about an hour, hour and a half by boat or train or bus. Um, and so, well, that's where a lot of my time has been going. But we did get to explore and it's so beautiful and fall has inspired me so much that I picked up these leaves and I finally started painting again. It, you know, like I said, it's been just a little rough between the pregnancy, which most of it, I'd say two thirds of it, um, I had very little energy and just kind of a lot of, I don't know, it was, it was a challenge for me. But um, yeah, that being said, I did want to get back to my art. And you all might be wondering, I am still working on that 28 day project. That is, you know, something I started months ago. <laughs> so definitely not done in 28 days, but it's something that I'm going to continue. If it takes me a year to finish, so be it. I'm super excited. And if you follow me on Instagram, you kind of saw the first part of that, that I'm working on. And uh, well, I did want to though, as I was painting this, I thought, you know, a lot of things take time and I want them to be perfect. But one of my big goals for the year was to also try selling some artwork. And I hadn't really done that. So while I was painting, I decided, you know, I'm going to just put it out there. 
I'm going to look through my portfolio, grab a few favorites that I think people might be interested in, and I'm just going to try to put them up for sale during basically like an Instagram live, like a story kind of approach. And if they sell, that would be incredible. And if they don't, I'm really no further behind on that goal that I was at the beginning of the year. And, you know, what was holding me back in addition to just kind of the double moves and the pregnancy and everything else going on is that I want things to be perfect. So I wanted to figure out the perfect platform, whether that be Etsy or a completely different one. I wanted to have all the perfect branding with, you know, custom stamps and custom envelopes and like everything just be perfect. But you know what? If I'm wanting it to be perfect, then at this rate, it's not happening this year, and who knows for how many more months it won't happen once, you know, we have an infant that's going to be a priority. So I decided, you know, kind of unlike me, but I'm just going to do it. I'm just going to post it and see what happens. So I hope this encourages you to just kind of take a leap of faith as well. And by the way, if you see anything here that you don't see in my Instagram stories, because maybe I decided, huh, I don't think anyone's going to want that, then do feel free to send me a message, leave me a message here or a direct message on Instagram, uh, because I'm sure we can work something out. In addition to the originals that I'm going to try to sell, I do have these gorgeous postcards. I am completely in love with these. I actually had these done at the end of last year and never attempted to sell them. So right now I only have two themes. I have this gorgeous fall themed one with a, a golden foil that I just absolutely, I think it's it's stunning personally. And so I'm going to send the um, sell these in little packs again over on Instagram. And then, um, yeah, we have these with the silver foil, basically like fall and Christmas themed. So that's pretty perfect timing. And then remember earlier in the year, I also had these stickers made. So again, never tried to sell them once I was having this super high expectation of, you know, everything I needed to set up to even attempt to make any kind of sale. And you know what, maybe there's a few souls out there who like these things just as they are and are happy to receive them in a simple envelope and enjoy them anyway. So I have a few different designs that will also be available as kind of a multi-pack. And um, if you're watching this video close to when it goes live on YouTube, you can hop over to Instagram and um, yeah, get the stuff there because um, because of all the things happening in our personal lives, you know, I'm basically going to kind of do one bundle mailing. I'm going to get it out about a week after I post these things, so the window is relatively small to jump on it um, for a few months. But all that being said, I also wanted to share this last little view, and that is our, like, one day getaway <laughs> that we had. You know, like I said, there's been so much going on. Um, so this, in general, unfortunately, was not a priority or a possibility in the last few months, but we made it happen. A single day, and yeah, I'll just let you enjoy these views. <laughs> birthday and baby moon because we just gotta squash it all together <laughs> but it was so pretty this gorgeous place we got to stay in was from 1753 believe it or not and it was so cozy and it was just the perfect little hut for us to enjoy for one night and um well, just in case you're curious, here's my belle. <laughs> but the next morning, yeah, we just actually had a really, really nice breakfast. And that was basically it. We were headed back home already. But um, we did, on the way back, just take a few extra hours. And we started walking 
inside of this tiny cute little town and basically we're headed to Blausi which means blue lake and was it worth it? I don't know. It was super crowded. I won't show you that. It's like tourism central, um, influencer central, but it was still a really nice time to be had.